Hi, welcome to Repair and Lawnmowers for Profit. Behind me I've got a Mountfield SV150 engine. It's like a Chinese engine. They're not really uh, very popular here on YouTube and they have a lot of running problems, revving up and down, stalling, not been able to start. I'm going to go through a few tips and tricks on this one I've got here as it's kind of revving up and down a bit. I'm going to show you how to adjust the idle speed and that might just get you through uh, another cutting season without it revving up and down and stalling all the time. So let's take a look at this SV150 engine. And I've just started this champion lawnmower up. This has got a, a mount field, or what's known as an SV150 engine. And I started this up and it's been running really lumpy. Basically, it sounds like it's going to cut out. And I've serviced this last year and kind of given it a bit of a paint up. So I just wanted to show a few people. I get so many emails now saying, how do you make these run faster? And how do you stop them revving up and down now? I've actually just had them play about with this. And if you look in here, this screw here, actually sets your idle speed so what I'm going to do in a second is I'm going to start this lawnmower up as it is now this is screwed all the way in so we'll see what it runs like with it all the way in and you'll probably find out that it's just running really fast so let's start this mower up and just see how it runs so on these they have a throttle on here and you actually put it on to choke just pull these over probably tell that that's running too fast but the thing about these is they really tend to rev up and down a lot even after you've cleaned the carburetor. I'm just going to film a few tips and tricks as well while I'm here. One thing to look for on this, this type of mower, what you want to do with this is just put it on choke if you can't get it started. Take the air filter box off which I've taken off here and if you actually look inside here there's actually like a butterfly choke that should close when it's choked. If it doesn't close all the way it won't choke, the lawnmower won't start. You can see there that tiny little silver disc there it's closed, causing it to choke. Because on here, it's actually set to choke. If I move that way there, you'll see that that actual valve there opens up, and that's where it should be when it's running. So this is set correctly. So what a lot of the times I see happen is sometimes this cable's pulled through here. Sometimes this switch, listen, doesn't activate because the cable doesn't pull it far enough. But a lot of times I find people have done odd things like cable tied these two cables together are just like fouling or obstructing each other and it causes it to rev up and down. One tip I would give with these is I would make them run slightly faster than normal because it tends to stop them revving up and down. You might lose a bit of adjustment on here on this throttle but you don't want it revving up and down especially when you're trying to sell it so I would lose a little bit of that. I mean nobody really uses the throttle on these ones anyway it tends to be just the Honda ones that really tend to idle properly so let's just back this off here a little bit We'll take this out to around halfway and we'll see what this runs like. What I'm trying to do is get it to a point where it runs fast enough to not rev up and down. And it's running nice and evenly. Another thing to note as well, if you see these, these aren't Briggs and Stratton engines. These are SV150, like Chinese engines, I think. Um, on the back, this has a separate petrol tank. If you ever see one of these and the petrol tank's actually built onto the recoil, don't buy it, especially at auction, because the back of the uh, petrol tank seems to split. These are the better ones. don't know if actually this might have had a modification one on it. So let's try it again with that idle screw at about halfway. Let's just see what this runs like. This is probably the number one question I get from people watching the channel, is how to get these running right. They seem to be a bit of a pain, to be honest. And they're not my favourite to work on. So I'll put it back on choke and we'll start this up again. never been fantastic this long man. I've checked both flywheel keys, I've checked all the gaskets, the head gasket and everything and this is one of them occasions where sometimes you know when you don't want to spend weeks on something you can't get it quite right as you can tell there I was using the throttle to try and run it on low revs and then at high revs it was still revving up and down so I'm going to go halfway on that screw and I'm going to put it 
about three quarters of the way in and see if I can still get some adjustment on the throttle without it revving up and down. So I'll go a couple more turns in, we'll fire this lawnmower up and see if it runs evenly. Still perhaps running a bit fast, so I'll go back one turn on the same screw. Let me try that again. getting a lot of adjustment on that throttle there at least it's running evenly and I've often seen times when I've picked these up myself someone's actually taken the throttle off just because you can kind of get it in a position between choke and running at maximum revs where it'll start and it'll still run evenly so if you've got one of these don't get too discouraged because they can be a bit of a pain and you don't want to be spending weeks doing this to sort of make you know 60 70 pounds like I do I'm going to list this for about 70 80 pounds I think um, what I've got to do first is get this wheel adjuster on this has actually dropped down here, I don't think I've tightened that up properly must have missed that off, but it's a lot tidier than it was when I bought it and I just wanted to do a video because I hadn't done one for a while so, but I wanted to show this because these are all the little things I, I like to do and help people out just to see if they can get the lawnmower running right if you do me a massive favour as well, if this has helped you out, just type in these words on the internet for me lawnmower pull cord stuck and you will find a website called Repair Lawnmowers for Profit, which is my website. If you could go on there and just open that article and spend, you know, a couple of minutes with that page, it would get my website up and running a bit quicker and really help me out. So, if this has helped anybody out, check out RepairLawnmowersForProfit.com. I have a part store on there now where you can find all genuine uh, Briggs & Stratton gaskets. No rubbish on there that's going to cause you further problems. I've tried to list all genuine parts on there at reasonable prices from suppliers I actually use myself as well so any uh, gasket springs, recoils, starter ropes and anything like that take a look at the stores uh, section of RepairLawnmowersForProfit.com thanks for watching any questions about this SV or RV150 engine post in the comments below I'd be happy to help you out I normally reply to the, uh, the comments that I get on the new videos it's difficult to go through them all when I get comments on videos from sort of years ago but I do my best but I always do my best to comment on uh, the most recent ones so if this has helped you out or if you've got any problems whatsoever feel free to leave a comment in the comments section thanks for watching don't forget check out repairlawnmowersforprofit.com really appreciate that links in the description of the video as well thanks for watching bye for now